The best opportunities to make money easily through investing happen when other people are scared. And that is why if this comes to fruition, I am excited for it. The best investors, the people who make the most money are typically the ones who do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, so buckle up. But if you watch this until the end, I am telling you this information could absolutely change your life. How do I know that? Because it changed mine. I went from $40,000 in debt to a millionaire at 30 years old. Okay, so the way you make the most money investing is on the buy. Let's look at an example of exactly what I mean when I say this. In the early 2000s, Toronto pre construction condos used to sell on a discounted basis. What this means is you could buy a pre-construction condo for less than you could buy a resale one for. That's because there is risk to buying something that hasn't been built yet and risk to having your down payment tied up for years while you wait for the building to be completed. So Toronto developers would incentivize buyers to purchase their project by giving them a discount for their trouble. Since developments take a couple of years to complete and the Toronto housing market really picked up during this time, the value of these pre-construction condos ended up being much higher than when the buyer originally purchased it. Essentially, these people made money by simply purchasing at a discount, letting time pass. They were then actually able to sell the property before they even legally closed on it for a profit. Other people started seeing how much money those pre-construction buyers were making and they're like, hey, I want in too. Eventually, demand had gone up so much for these pre-construction condos that these developers no longer had to offer a discount on their properties. And not only were they not offering a discount, at one point they actually started selling for the future value of what they thought the condo might be worth in a couple years time when it actually completed. But new investors were so entranced and so jaded by the money that was made in the early 2000s with pre-construction condos that even though these pre-construction condos were selling for more than the resale condos, they were happy to pay for it under the guise of this is always a good investment. But as you can tell, these people were doing the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do to be a good investor, which is buy low and sell high. Instead, these people were buying high and then hoping, wishing, and praying that prices went up and they didn't lose money on their investment. investment. Then when the housing market corrected, inevitably there were a lot of people that purchased these pre-construction condos who had no intention of ever closing. They could not financially carry these mortgages who were unable to sell the unit because the housing market was correcting and they needed to sell it for an inflated price to at least break even on what they had spent, who ended up either defaulting and probably getting sued by the developer or having to sell the property for a massive loss. Something that was a sure thing became a huge risk because people stopped paying attention to fundamentals. Now, on the other hand, something like this can actually be a great opportunity if you are a buyer because there is a margin of safety in market pessimism, AKA when everyone is scared, that's when you buy. Basically, when something is selling for a deep discount, your probability of making money increases because there's more room for the value to go up then down. Now, a really great book that talks about how to profit off of fear in market cycles is Mastering the Market Cycle by Howard Marks. He was actually one of the most successful Wall Street investors of all time. Basically, he talks about how markets go through cycles and they typically swing like a pendulum. They go from overly optimistic to overly pessimistic. And when people are pessimistic, it can present really good opportunities for people to make money. This is why I've been buying more REITs this year. REIT pricing usually falls when interest rates rise, which means when rates recently went up drastically, the prices fell a lot. Now there is speculation that rate cuts may happen this year, even if not next year in 2026. At that time, REITs should eventually rebound and I'm hoping to make a lot of money. If you wanna learn more about investing, check out our free investing masterclass on our website under freebies.